welcome to supper time. We're having lasagna soup tonight. It finally didn't rain today after two days straight of rain, but it wasn't that sunny either, so it didn't dry up all the yuck out there. It's still really sloppy, really messy out there. So we've been watching Christmas movies again, doing a little bit of after Christmas cleanup. I need to chop this bell pepper and an onion to cook in here with the ground beef real quick. Anybody found any good after Christmas sales? I haven't even looked at any this year. Oh my goodness, Manly, you won't believe what I just found. What? He loves these gingerbread cookies. Close your eyes. You ready? Open. Yeah! He was asking me for one of those cookies yesterday, and I didn't know those were in there. This one is another one pot soup. So once we get the ground beef cooked with the peppers and onions, we drain it, and then we add everything else in. Even the pasta uncooked. And it's gonna finish cooking in here with the soup. Oh, I have some breadsticks too that I'm gonna cook. I need to preheat the oven for those. Woo! I went outside and cleaned up around the house a little bit, fed the chickens. Tried to get them to go ahead and go up for the evening, but they didn't wanna cooperate, so they're still out. They put themselves up, you know, when the sun starts going down. I was just gonna see if I could get them in there early and go ahead and shut them in. Um, I don't know if I have any regular mild cheddar, but I probably have maybe some Monterey Jack or Colby Jack. Maybe some mozzarella. I want the white cheese. Mozzarella? Yeah. Okay. Let me get this preheating for the breadsticks. This ground beef will be ready in just about two or three more minutes. Let's go see if we have some mozzarella. That's what he calls it. <laughs> Would you like one slice or two? Here you go. Okay, we are ready to drain. Sissy's watching The Dog Who Saved the Holidays. Is that what this one's called, Sissy? Okay, we're putting in two cans of diced tomatoes, not drained. We're gonna put a little bit of garlic powder. Next, we're gonna put in some beef broth. I have a 32 ounce carton. Okay, now we're just gonna put one cup of water. A 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. I just splattered myself with some tomato sauce right in the face. Okay, now we're gonna put some tomato paste. We need about four ounces, and these little cans are six, so it'll be almost this whole can. We'll turn this back up to medium now. We'll add some pepper and a couple of teaspoons of Italian seasoning. Now we'll bring this to a bowl. Then we're gonna add in three cups of the uncooked pasta. I'm just using rotini. You can get lasagna noodles and break them up into little pieces if you want to. We're just gonna go with rotini. I hope that it can fit in here. I don't wanna make a mess on the stove top. <laughs> and that'll be it. It'll cook for about 10 minutes until the pasta is tender. And then we just top it with cheese and I'm gonna put the breadsticks in the oven to go with it too. Okay, y'all, the lasagna soup was good. I guess you could actually call it rotini soup, though, since we used rotini. But it was the lasagna soup recipe, so. Anyway, I'm gonna clean the stove top now. The black, I mean, to me, like you can see right here where some stuff got on the stove top, but with that white one, I'm sure y'all saw many times, it, it definitely was worse than this. 
I mean, you can see these spots, but really not much at all. That white one, it would be, you know, very, very, very obvious. I ordered this cooktop cleaning kit. So I had this uh, cleaner, this kind. I think it was this brand. It might have been a different brand though that I used to use on the white one. But a lot of times I just used baking soda and peroxide on that one because it worked sometimes better than the cleaner for that white cooktop because it just, like I'm, I'm telling y'all, any little bitty drip of anything and it was a terrible spot on that one. I think that could be why they stopped making those white flat tops. <laughs> What is, oh this, is this to, I guess this is to scrub if stuff gets on there. That's scary. Okay, it's not sharp. Never mind. Not too scary. <laughs> Cooktop scraper removes the most stubborn soils and residue. Scrubbing tool and pad. There we go. So this is completely cool now. We just put some of the, I don't think I'm going to need this for this deal here. We'll just put, now I did order a big thing of the cleaner and um, the little kit that came with the scrubber and all came with this little one. So we'll use the little one first. And I also got this daily cleaner. So we have a spot here and there. See how easily this one cleans. Now the other one, even when I had this stuff, you really had to put some elbow grease into it. But I, didn't, I never had this little scrubby pad. I just had the cleaner. Mm-hmm. You still gonna have to put some elbow. <laughs> Coming off there pretty good circular motions have a little bit it is harder to see where the spots are on this one like i have to get down at an angle ow i just hit my head <laughs> see it on the top of the microwave <laughs> the next time i make that lasagna soup though i would um put just a little dash of sugar in the meat and sauce mixture i always like to do that whenever i do a homemade tomato based sauce it calms down that canned tomato taste you know but it was really good kids liked it. See a little spot I missed here. Now, there we go. Wonderful. Then we'll take our daily cleaner. <laughs> Supposed to give it a streak-free shine. Ooh, it is streak-free. Look, John, that's streak-free. Now I'm gonna wipe down the oven part too real quick. This, I'm not sure if this inside part is a little more like like there's not as much over here as the other oven, but I felt like when I was cooking Christmas dinner, I could fit more stuff in here than I could with the other one. I really think that there is a little more room in here. Okay. Uh, I'm a confessional trainer. Horse trainer? Yeah, and mostly a confessional trainer for these. Oh, for these. Yeah, but you, uh, you remember? Yeah. So do you, you know? mean to tell me you are a professional? Yeah, do you know? I was training you to do this game. You trained me last night. When we yeah, played. is that still in your nice, good brain? It's in my nice, good brain. Okay, but well, can you do it again? Well, that was no, really... I'm not a professional like you. What do you think, Mammy? Who's doing the best? Daddy, oh. and mostly you. Okay. Jacob did a smooth move the other night, Daddy. Did you see it? He moved, the bottom was, um, huh? <laughs> We're about to play Rubik's Race. Man, is this what you gave Jonah for Christmas? Yeah, I did get that for Christmas. Put this blue one somewhere. Blocker tiles cannot move. Replace two tiles from your opponent's border row with two blocker tiles. I'm going to block you here and here. Now uh, you, you pick those pieces. Uh, well, they just sit over to the side. Now you do the same thing to me. You pick two of mine on my border row down here to block. Let's see. You got a wild one? Uh-huh. Okay. The wild one can be any color you need it to be. Go. This is not as easy as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> um, I've got the first two rows. I've got green, blue, orange, orange, blue, red. Now I've I need, got nothing. Now I need red, yellow, and white. 